got to be starting something. What is something you wish you could be doing, but you don't know how to start? Shiso Mickey says, learning Arabic. Holy Peaches wants to join the circus. John P wishes he could be making guitars. Lucy Acts a Lot has always wanted to start making YouTube videos to be a bigger part of the YouTube community. My cousin Jeffrey wants to be making websites. Tara B says, about a million things, all having to do with creating things. Super Sharea wants to be knitting things. And Natalie just wants me to visit her. Um, um, and, um, all right. One of my favorite art teachers in high school would always say, the best way to start is to start. I'm really fond of this and find myself offering it a lot as advice to people who are seeking to start on some creative venture. When I say the best way to start is to start, that makes sense if you already have some background on what it is you'd like to be doing. Like for example when Mr. Hotailing gave us all the necessary instructions on how to do a project, we had everything we needed to start. We just needed to actually take the jump and start. But if you honestly truly have no idea where to start, your first step should be to research. Find someone who is doing the thing that you want to be doing and observe, lurk, ask them questions, ask how they got involved, find out about the protocol, the sort of expected procedure and behaviors associated with that thing that you want to be doing. Make mistakes. No, not intentionally. Then it's not a mistake. Just accept the fact that you are going to make mistakes because we all make mistakes. Very rarely does someone start something flawlessly. Just accept the fact that you're going to make mistakes. Embrace it. Seek out and seize opportunities. It's only your first time once. So what if you start out really terribly? The next time you'll be a little less bad and the next time you'll be a little less bad. I've done this with my comics. I wanted to start making comics so I just started making comics and then I found a class to take and I've made connections with different individuals. I also put up a comic blog and the name of the blog sort of goes along with this philosophy. Someday I won't suck dot blogspot dot com. You'll only get good at something by having experience and practicing. People putting out calls looking for someone to do the thing that you want to do are probably going to be less picky than those people who seek out specific individuals. Seek out classes you can take. Networking is such an important part of so many different things because there are so many different things that you can learn from others. Being in a class is a great way to make these connections. If you've established a connection with one person skilled in that way just by associating yourself with the person who's teaching the class and then the peers who are learning. These people can also send opportunities your way. Definitely let others know that you're interested in doing this thing because you'll give yourself more eyes and ears to look for such opportunities. Don't be afraid to follow in somebody's footsteps. Over the years, many great art students have copied the classics, have drawn reproductions of the quote-unquote masterworks, which helps them sort of figure out and understand a little bit more about things that other people had already figured out. And after you're comfortable, your own style will come out. And of course, you need to make time to do this thing. If you don't set aside time, when are you going to do it? If you've had success starting something and have any pointers, you know where to leave them. Also, on Wednesday, October 6th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Chateau Vidal is going to be a featured channel on the Wednesday's Vloggers segment of the radio show Kiwi and QC. It's on CHYZ 94.3 in Quebec, but you can also listen online and I'll include a link to do so in the doobly-doo. His is an English language show that, as he says, brings geekism to the four corners of the planet. I think what he's doing is pretty cool as he's trying to bridge old media platforms platforms and new ones. So go ahead and check them out. Thanks. You're a vegetable. You're a vegetable. Do they hate you? You're a vegetable.